Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. Today I'm gonna talk about dino testing. Let's go and see how we can test our application within Dino. So we have a testing framework within Dino, which is great, right? This module provides few basic utilities to make testing easier and consistent within Dino. So that's the reason why we are going to use and see how it goes within Dino to test an application. First of all, I'm going to show you a little bit of very basic tests and then we are going to use it within a framework. So first of all, we're gonna look how a test looks like. So first of all, we have here our assert equals, and then we have our dino.test, which we are going to give a name, testing example for, for example, right? And then we have a function which has an assert equals and another assert equals, right? So here I'm going to say world world, and I'm going to save it and then I'm going to do dino mods yes and then you will see you will compile it but yeah we don't get anything out of that and that's because we need to do this we need to do dino dot run tests that's very important so when we have that we can do dino test and you see that our test results okay one passed zero failed zero ignored zero measured and zero filtered out nice when we say that something is not correctly we do kind of test and you will see that we get here our assert equals which gives an error right so this is a great thing to do your testing within Dino. It's very basic, but again, it's great to have utilities and that all our packages within Dino will have the same abilities, right? But I hear you're already thinking, isn't this too much? And that's why right. you need to do a name and then a function and so on. So can it shortly? Well, yeah, it can be shorter. So we can do it like this, dino.test with a function, example, void, and then our asserts, which is great, right? When we run this test, you will see it pass and it works. The other thing that I want to test out is, will it be possible to have also this? No, test function can be anonymous, right? So that's something that's hard. Another thing that I was questioning myself about is, can we do this? So const example and do test example. Is this possible? What do you think? Will it be possible? It's possible. So that's also a great thing to do is just create your test here, give it a name and then pass it to dino.test afterwards. It's also something that I really like to do because I love lambdas and the lambda functions, right? But, okay. So now we are going to see something else. So next thing that I wanna show you is how to use the is strictly equal. So I'm going to add this one here. And then we are going to do dino.test is strictly equal. Mm 
No, no text, but test right. <laughs> so, all right, great. When we now do dino mod test, we see that it passes, right? Because we have here a equals b, so it has the same kind of value there, right? But when we do this, we will see that it will fail. Which is normal because it's not strictly equal. So another thing to look at is the following the assert true, right? So when we add this one, we can uh, do an assert row when we want to assert that really a throw is happening, right? So when we do this, you will see a pass. Of course, we need to first save this. I'm going to clear this. And now I'm going to execute this and you'll see it will pass. Of course, when we do uh, this here and we say console.log assert throws, there is no uh, throw, throw new type error right here. So you will see that it will fail. So when you ex expect that an, uh, something will throw an error, then you can do assert throws. Yeah, you also have that for synchronous code. So just to show you how that's, that will work, we can just use that as well. So I'm going to add this one and then when we do clear and I save this and I execute this you will see again that is that it works another thing when you want to use benchmark testing it's also possible it's very easy to do so by just uh, using the bench.ts right so how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to execute it. Of course, I need to save it, right? So I'm going to save it. And here we go. You see <coughs> that he runs this one and that you can very easily benchmark it. You will see the milliseconds right here and that it's being done and it's being measured how much something takes, right? So that's also very easy to do. So put some benchmark testing within your Dino application and see how long it takes. It will help you to create better code, faster code and more performance wise code. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Please subscribe to this channel if you like it. Uh, and if you want to learn a little bit more about new technologies within the web development world. Thank you for watching. Bye.